Saludos, querida familia global de Every Nation, which means greetings, Every Nation family. We are on the day two of our annual week of prayer, fasting, and consecration. Hope you are having a great time as we do. And our theme for this year is set apart, a biblical view of holiness. We are exploring the concept of holiness from the first letter of Peter. And today's passage is in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. It says like this, Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. Well, in these two verses are packed a powerful truth and also a challenge that Peter is putting in front of us. But what is this challenge? What is the challenge that Peter is bringing to us? Peter says to abstain from the passions of the flesh. That is the challenge. In Peter's mind, there are passions that wage war against our souls, meaning they try to destroy us. And if we let these passions triumph, our whole being will be damaged. So this challenge is a calling to fight in a world already in place, in our members. This is the challenge of holiness. But why is this a challenge? Well, let me tell you first, because no matter how long we've been walking with God, we have some desires, things that hide in corners of our souls that wage war against us. No one can escape of this. Remember, Peter is writing to Christians, so feel good if you are having this kind of troubles inside you. Everyone has it. And secondly, this is a challenge because these passions of the flesh are in us. We can't run from them. We can't just ignore them. As long as we live in this already and not yet era, this is something that we will carry with us. So how we should face this challenge? Let me tell you first what won't work out. This is not about self-improvement or discipline. This is something that exceeds our human capacity because our body and minds wants to satisfy those desires and the world around us is always tempting us to let us go. The challenge of holiness is humanly impossible to solve, but there is a way we should face it. And Peter is telling us that we need to face this from our new identity, a new identity as sojourners and exiles. Both words feed each other. Both words are related to people that are here, but do not belong here. We Christians are those people. We are here in this world and God expects our involvement with others that do not know him. But we must always remember that our citizenship is in the heavens. And the reason why we are sojourners and exiles is because of God's mercy. That's what the verse 10 says. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. In this beautiful contrast, we see that our identity is tied to God's mercy. He saw us and his heart turned to us in mercy. And now those who were not his people have become his people. That's why we are just sojourners and exiles. And because of that, we can face the challenge of holiness. So finally, how can we face this challenge? Well, I will say in this way, the power to say no to our fleshy desires comes from God's power to say yes to us and make us his people. Let's pray together. Father, Thank you for, so much for all my brothers and sisters around the world. Thank you so much that you made us yours, that you have mercy toward us. Now help us to live as sojourners and exiles and face the fleshy desires that wage war against us and be real and genuine witnesses to you. In Jesus' name, amen.